Science may have it wrong about Earth's inner core. They're now saying that it's possibly two inner cores, an inner core and an outer core. And the general consensus it used to be that the inner core was molten or solid metal. Now they're all starting to say, well, maybe it's not metal, maybe it's ice. And I've been saying that for a very long time. Now, if you have a look here, it says scientists have found a new state of matter called superionic water, which may exist as a liquid, solid or gas. The unusual ice is generally seen in the cores of Neptune and Uranus. Let's be honest, they don't even know what our core is. How the hell would they know what those have caused? So this is why I don't trust scientists. However, this is what this says, experts recently have discovered it is in Earth's deep core. So I have been saying all along that Earth's core is ice, which is why it expanded, which is why Earth was smaller and now bigger, which is why steam broke through from the heat of the water and split the continents. Mermaids are real. That is my findings after doing a documentary called Everything You Need to Know About Mermaids, which is on my Patreon page called patreon.com forward slash outro history. Now, I actually go back to the first ever recorded carvings of mermaids and I follow the trowel of where the next carving was and where the next carving was etc and it leads to a pattern of exactly what mermaids are where they come from how they got there so I'm just going to give you a little clue now a little snippet of the video I hope you enjoy it I believe mermaids were genetically created by the alien race called Anunnaki that arrived here 450,000 years ago and they admit they create humans from the creatures here already. We have the original texts to prove this. See my other videos. And now the oldest mention of a mermaid. There is a cylinder seal in the British Museum. Ocean, the elements and gases forming together to form universes. This person on the Gaia channel has said that there was no Big Bang, it was just light, gas, matter, etc., all creating the universe. Now, I have a problem with that because in order for something to create something, you would really need it to be in motion. In other words, you can't have gas one place and gas another and then expect them to, to, to collide. So you would need some sort of force or motion for them to, to collide in order for you to end up getting the universe, etc. So if everything was just stagnant, nothing would collide, therefore you would get no universe, even though there was matter before the universe, according to this lady. So I struggle with that, because evolution, you had chemicals that collided with each other to create life. So I think the Big Bang still, in a way, wins. Unicorns were real, and this one was found in Asia. Now, that means the horn, the magic horn, was probably an antidote for poisons. Now, if it's a myth, how far back does it go? Because now we know it's not a myth. Well, Sumerians actually carved unicorns in their uh, carvings. Now, that means if that's a myth and it's true, what other myths were true? Well, we know Cyclops is, is such a thing. There's a poor baby that died recently. So that means then that these myths that the Sumerian gods, which were the Anunnaki, which were from another planet, we can't just keep ignoring. So now when they do all of the planets around our sun, and we only found out about these recently, and yet these new thousands of years ago, we, we've got to keep saying, stop, it's not a myth anymore. These guys were from another planet. They knew stuff we didn't know. And we can take the tinfoil hat off, and you can all follow our true history because that's what I talk about, the real stuff. Everything you need to know about aliens is now on YouTube. I've been asked by you guys to collate my videos in categories. So this one's all about aliens. This one's all about me debunking the debunkers. And you can find all of that on Outro History on YouTube. But also I do have a Patreon page which has got uh, 70 odd videos that's not been seen before. Um, I've also put more of these collated videos on here. The part two of that version there. And the list just goes on. So feel free to go visit me on my Patreon page as well as the YouTube page, Our True History. See you then. Bye. Gods. The first gods were the Sumerian gods. Predates the Bible. So which one do you believe come first? The Sumerian gods, plural Elohim, alien race, or the one Bible? Now, the Sumerian gods have over 2 million cuneiform tablets waffling on about them, whereas the Bible is just the translations of those two million tablets uh, or some of those two million tablets 
So I thought it would be funny to do a chat GDP talking about the 12 Sumerian gods, 12 Greek gods and 12 Roman gods because let's be honest they are all the 12 Sumerian gods. So it's basically started with the joke with did you hear about the 36 gods that humans used to worship? Turns out they were just the same 12 Sumerian gods with multiple personality disorders and a serious case of wanderlust. The joke goes on basically um, but the point is is there a joke? Why do people only want to believe the Bible when we've got the older stuff that the Bible copies?